And we're in. Oh my god. Let's clean up the floor. Dude, what an amazing bunkery area we've discovered. Look at this place, man. Oh, what is up the world? What is up the world? It is your friendly neighborhood slip gator here. Hanging out today, doing stuff and things. What a beautiful day. Back with some more seven days to die. Thank you guys so much for coming to hang out with me, man. Oh, we got to get organized. We just got back from the popping pills. Make sure if you like the video you see today, please don't forget, show your support, smash the thumbs up button. And if you're new and you haven't already, subscribe for more hot stuff and things action. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. All right, small stones, iron pipe, those guys, the repair kits will stay. This, 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 that, this, those, these glass jars we can uh, maybe go like that for right now. We're going to get a little bit organized, put some stuff and things away, and we've got to go out and do a little bit more gathering of the stuff. The hunter mod... <clears throat> 100% damage to living beings will be really good if we're working or uh, like uh, trying to farm, I don't know, uh, meat and stuff and things like that. Bipod mod increases accuracy and handling when aiming weapons. All right, we don't need that guy right yet either. Uh, some bottled murky water can go inside of there and that beer and that grain alcohol. All right, so nice and organized is the inventory, ladies and gentle peeps. Um, all right, so we're not going to use our land claim block yet because we're going to do that once we go underground. Oh, you know what else? We can go ahead and squirt these bullets inside of here, these casings. And we found a couple of weapons last time, the hunting rifle and tier two deal. And we found a level three pistol as well. We'll squirt these guys inside of there like that. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is an organized inventory. Uh, bottled murky water. I think we're going to go ahead and have to make that into, uh, what is it? Boiled water? Bottled water, pardon me. Let's go ahead and start crafting that guy up right there like so. So we're going to let this guy do its thing. We only have two. How long is it going to take? Yeah, two minutes. Dude, I only have two water left. And my water is actually a little bit low. We got three water now. Maybe we'll wait for four. Give it to me. Give it to me, baby. You know you want to. He's done it. Four water. All right. So, uh, 2030 is the time right now. And there's not a lot of time left to get stuff and things done before the nighttime comes. So, I think what we're going to do is just work on a little bit of gathering up of the resources. And then we're going to try or do our very best to survive the night. Uh, in the next day, we're going to have to start gathering. We have a lot of stuff that we have got to try to work on getting. Um, there's a lot of stuff that's really kind of top tier or higher tier. Not top tier, but higher tier in this game that we're not going to be able to build early. That we're going to need to gather. Like uh, the auger. Uh, we're going to need to get an auger going. Uh, the chainsaw. We're going to need to get a chainsaw going. Dude, I hear somebody. You want some of this action right here? Right in your area. Are you dead? He's done it. You're stupid and dumb. Uh, so, yeah, the auger, the chainsaw, the nail gun. These are all things that we eventually could build in this game, but most likely are going to take a really long time. We're going to want to get them a little bit earlier. So the first day here, what we're going to do, or day two, uh, is start getting the gathering going. So I'm just going to go ahead and gather up a bunch of wood. Uh, the nighttime starts at 2200, so I have about an hour and 20 minutes before that goes on. So I'm going to start doing some of this stuff and things, and then uh, we'll see what happens in the PM hours. The nighttime is the right time. Ladies and gentlemen, I am out and about at night. Now it may be very dark. Dude, where is this guy? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. You over here? You inside of here, homie? Dude, where is this guy at? It's so dark. <laughs> Get freaking surprised! All right, so uh, it is very dangerous at night, but I'm confident, mostly because I have this high-end uh, spear. I'm fairly confident that we can still do a little bit of gathering in the PMs here. Let's open this guy up. And then I found this little trailer park area, which probably, ooh, dude, level two wrench. I'll take that. Uh, probably isn't gonna yield anything super unbelievable and amazing, but really, really good for all sorts of starter stuff and things. Uh, what's the food poisoning 1%? We'll go ahead and eat that guy. So, uh, yeah, I figured we would just go ahead and loot this while we're here. Wait, open refrigerator. Yeah, we already got that guy. Ooh, there it is, untouched. Uh, and do a little bit of stuff and things. Really, what we're going to find here is just kind of like normal, a bunch of normie stuff. You know what I mean? Cans, water, food. Uh, oh, I think I got to... There we go, like so. Uh, and then inside of here, you can see. And then we're kind of defended from some of the bad hombres. Oh, dude, pocket mod, iron gloves. That was a good find right there. Hold up. Let's see what we got going on over here. Iron gloves, and then what is this guy? That, I hear another guy coming. 
So this actually is a little bit better, this leather hood. Uh, you can tell it has le less durability and higher effective resistance. We put that hood on like that. Oh, it looks amazing. We got another bad guy outside. Uh, what's the best way to get around here? Dude, it is so friggin' dark. I don't even know if you guys are gonna be able to see this stuff. What's the fat guy? Oh, I hit him right in his gnats. He's not dead yet. We got him. Nailed it. He can't be stopped. Dude, babe. That was a lot of, uh, babe. That was a lot of XPs. Nice. So, uh, yeah, we don't have, like, uh, a torch or anything like that on us right now. So, we're going to have to do this in the dark. But I'm okay with it. It ain't no thang. We should be okay. Empty cupboard. Got all those guys. Oh, yeah. We emptied that chest. And these guys right here. Beds. Really good for harvesting for a few different things. Oh, we found a thing. Uh, you can get clay. But, uh, not clay. Cloth. Pardon me. Some iron. But pipes and uh, springs, which are really important for later on as well, are really good. So, uh, we're just going to continue to gather up the stuff and things over here in the trailer park. Back at base, 2342. I've gathered a ton of amazing stuff and things. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get organized. Well, first and foremost, plant fibers and animal fats. Uh, we got any more animal fats inside of there? Right there. We got any more plant fibers? Right there. Let's go ahead and make some candles, man. How many can we make? 16. 16 candles? What? That's unbelievable. All right, uh, let's take this guy apart right over here. Like so. Now, when I first started this playthrough, or of Seven Days to Die, coming back and doing stuff and things here, uh, I was really, really careful about the nighttime. Like, super cautious. Overly cautious, I think. Uh, and you don't necessarily need to be quite that scared of what's going on. Like, there's a lot of cool... You know what? Let's grab that and stick that up there. We don't need side candles. Uh, there's a lot of stuff and things going on in the game, obviously, in the PM hours. Uh, you don't have to be that afraid of what's going on. Dude, let there be light. It looks great inside of here. But yeah, you don't have to be that afraid uh, of some things. Uh, you can pretty much, at the level I'm at right now, we're pretty good to go. You don't have to be that cautious. Uh, we did take some damage, so I went ahead and uh, pumped uh, a bit of what? Where is it? Fortitude? Uh, we got our fortitude up to, wait, what? Fortitude right there, level three. And then I put healing factor up to level two. We have one skill point available if we need it. So we're GTG with that stuff. Um, okay, so I want to get maybe those guys, those guys, those, 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 plant fibers, these, those, these, that guy, maybe our paint. Do we have a cooking pot inside of there? We do. We have three. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and make sure we have just a single cooking pot in there. And that's it. We're going to take one of our grills, too. We found one of those guys. Let's squirt that in there. Did we not have a beaker as well? I feel like maybe we did not. All right. Springs, cloth, paper, beans. Those frames will keep. Uh, the cooking pots can go in there. Those guys, nitrate. This and this can go inside of there. You and you. Dude, organization is key. Uh, brass. And then extra tools I think we'll store inside of here. But honestly, we probably can just wrench them or sell them. I mean, that's 11. I don't know if it's even worth it. I think we'll just scrap it. We'll keep another one of those guys just in case. Oh, uh, we found a couple of cool mods. So advanced muffled connectors mod, not necessarily super cool. Uh, we'll scrap this guy as well. We'll put that pistol inside of there. We found this guy, double storage uh, pocket mod, which will be really good here. We'll use it in a second. There, that all goes inside of there. And then you and you and that like so. Oh, uh, Also, I found some iron gloves, I think. Yeah, right there. Uh, if we can modify these guys and squirt that inside of there. Now, this pocket mod gives us plus two carrying capacity. So now we have a couple extra slots we can put stuff and things in. Uh, we found this guy, too. Uh, I don't think we're going to worry too much about taking all those quests and stuff like that to start with. So, yeah, organization is key. We got uh, 0, 10, 100 hours right now. I'm kind of feeling like maybe these windows got to go. Where do we put our blocks? This is? Let's squirt those guys in there. I also built a new axe, and that new axe uh, is level 2. So a little bit better uh, stone axe for us to do stuff and things with. Let's go like this, like this. Yeah, let's just do a little bit of upgrading here. I think we'll just do like the first level. That's all we're really gonna need. Get these guys going and uh, wait until daytime. Dude, so spooky out here at night. So I thought we we're gonna be waiting for day, but I have some updates for you. Some stuff and things that we're gonna do here. Let's get rid of some of this crapola. Dude, wait, what is that? There, wait, what? Dude, I can't hit that thing. Weird. All right, so I took advanced engineering because we're gonna need a forge, peeps. So let's go ahead over here like this. Let's squirt that guy down and just upgrade it. Like so. And I took advanced engineering. So the forge is going to be small stones, clay soil, leather 10. 
Uh, we got plenty of that. We're going to need duct tape, too. Please don't tell me it was 10. No, three. And then short iron pipes. We've got a bunch of those guys. So now we can craft this bad ombre up and start getting some things going here. The reason I want to do this, uh, well, it's for several reasons. But to first to start with is that repair kits require iron. So we don't have any iron. We found some forged steel. We don't have any iron. Uh, so we're going to need... Wait, wait. We do have forged iron. Crap. I didn't see it right there in the inventory. And then we have some duct tape, too. All right. So we can make the forge and... Uh, we can get some repair kits going. So we're going to squirt this guy up over inside of here. And then I'm going to go ahead and just drop in, let's say, like 500 wood inside of there like that. Uh, now, the beaker, by the way, was in our inventory the whole time. We do have that, and I put it inside of that deal. Uh, this guy, we can get an anvil bellows, and the crucible is going to allow us to make steel. That's kind of like later in the game stuff and things, though. Uh, repair kits, let's see here. How many can we make? Five? Let's make three more. Just craft those guys up, and then squirt the rest of this stuff back into storage. Uh, all right, so clay soil. Let us take this clay soil, soil, and then we got about that and that. Let's go ahead inside of here now and put in the iron and put in the clay soil. This is super weird. I can't remember if I explained how this works to you. It's a little bit confusing. So we're going to turn this guy on. Uh, you have to input the materials like it has an internal storage. So we have to take iron and clay soil and put them in if we want to make for, uh, forged iron. So, wait, what? Is it under? There it is. Forged iron right there. So it requires iron and clay, but we can't just kind of put them in here and then make it instantly. It has to, like, smelt down, basically. So as we smelt it down, you can see now we can already make two of those guys. We can start crafting them up uh, like so. And it's going to take a while for us to get a, a lot of this going, but a little bit here and there. You know what I mean? It ain't a bad deal. Just a couple more seconds, and we'll get another piece. So there's two forged iron right there. Now, I can't remember. And I, Oh, actually, I do remember. I don't believe I explained this to you guys. There is something in this game called heat map. So, you think you got what it takes? Take it to the limit, business person. Dude, your neck is super friggin' gross right now. All right. Anybody else? Oh, I hear you. Let's go get him. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, dude. Oh, there's a pig. Oh, I got him. Get my spear. Get my spear. Where's this guy? Got that kid. And that pig is passive. We're not going to attack it. Uh, I don't want to have to worry about that. All right. So those guys are done. All right. Heat map. So the way heat map works is the more sources of heat you have in an area. Candles. Uh, this guy right here. We actually got all of that wood going now. Uh, wood, water. And then we can turn that guy off. Forges. Campfires. All of these things contribute to the heat map of a chunk. Yes, this game has chunks, similar to like how Minecraft has chunks. So, the more heat you generate in a chunk, uh, eventually you will uh, spawn a screamer. So, a screamer comes in, and then a screamer can scream, uh, believe it or not, and then spawn in other mobs. So, you want to kill a screamer like very quickly before they begin to scream. So, we don't want to let any, any of the screamers scream. Makes perfect sense, does it not? Uh, so, yeah, so the forge there is a good deal, though, because that's going to allow us to make forged iron and so many other things uh, that we're going to be able to use for uh, other stuff and things. So, it's good. GTG, we are making progress. Yay! Day! All right, so I went ahead and cooked up a bunch of red tea, which is better for us. Gives us more water, stamina regen. Uh, it gives us efficient digestion, which helps to lower the cost it takes to regain stamina through food and water. And made up a little bit more of this as well. Uh, let's go ahead and turn that guy off. And then you over here, how much more forged iron can we make? Oh, dude, we're running really low. How much iron do we have? 500 left. And it looks like we got a few of these guys going. Actually, we'll shut that guy off like that. We will squirt these guys inside of here. 41 forged iron, and we'll turn that bad ombre off. Bam, he's done it. All right, off to town we go, ladies and gentle peeps. Uh, which way is closest to the closest town? Oh, dude, this, this town's way closer. All right, so I think we're going to head over to this town right here. Things that we're looking for again. Uh, we already did that guy right there. We're looking for chainsaws, augers, nail guns uh weapons i think we're gonna have a uh, actually there's a military facility right here there's probably a massive weapons cache inside of there and we're gonna probably need to take multiple trips to and fro uh also let me just double check and see what's our food and water look like 138 139 all right so we're gtg on those they can go up to like 150 or 50 i think above what your limit is so ours is in the lower left hand corner like 109 or whatever so yeah getting a little bit of stuff and things over here will be really good for us uh, and, uh, yeah, we're gonna loot this bad ombre and see what we can see here. Let's do this. Alright, should be gasoline these guys, I do believe. 
All sorts of hot gas action. Military guys. I think these guys are a little bit tougher. I think they're just a two-hit deal. Right in your area. All right, he's G's. He's done. Uh, gonna grab that guy. Let's pop up inside of here. Any bad hombres? No. What do you got for me? Splints. We might need it coming down this ladder. All right, we're good. Cardboard box. All right, some bullets. All right, so let's pop inside of here real quick and just see what we got. There's got to be bad guys in here somewhere. Right in your arm. That could have done it. Give me that back. All right, dead. Book stuff and things. Go ahead and grab that guy. Is there really nothing else inside of here except for more bad guys? 17 repair kits and a level 2 iron pickaxe, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go like this and like this. We got some bad hombres over here, I think. Where you at? Are they outside? Oh, I think he's outside the building. Uh, we might just let him do his thing then. So we're like halfway through this POI, I think. I'm trying to gather up as much stuff and things as we can. Um, normally, I might pass by like cobblestone or concrete like that. But I figured we'd go ahead and just get as much of it as we can. Dude, I really wish I could get over the edge here. There's barbed wire stuff and things there, though. Uh, we can come over. Oh, like this. Can I jump up on here? Uh, maybe we can use our pickaxe on this barbed wire. Dude, I wish I had a gun. Do, wait, do I have a gun? Dude, this guy's pissed. Do we happen to have a gun in our inventory? If we do, I probably won't. We have a shotgun right there. Do we have shotgun ammo? Do you think we can get him from right here? Hold on a second here. Get wrecked! Dude, he's not dead. Lol. Oh, it's a double barrel. There we go. Nice. All right. So a little bit of hot shotgun action up in this piece. Put that guy back inside of there. Dude, where did our pick go that we just moved in here? I cannot see it. Dude, I still have a really hard time with the inventory stuff and things in, in, in this game for some reason. Oh, there's that right there. That's right. It had a wrench inside of there. That's why I couldn't find it. All right. So like I said, we're about halfway through this POI. But um, yeah, these guys, these army trucks should have some pretty good stuff and things in them. I figured I would show you this part here. Oh, just a little food and honey. That ain't even the thing. These guys as well. There are some weights inside of this area that we got to take apart. Uh, oh, dude, we can't. All right, let's just go ahead and eat that guy. We are completely full of stuff and things. Uh-oh. What happens if we do this? We're, we're going to get metal. We're going to get XP. We're going to get gas. And, all right, so we should have the room in our inventory for all the things we're going to get from these two guys. So uh, what we're going to do now, I did these buildings. We're going to do this building next. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and tear these trucks down, head back to base, unload everything. Oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh. I guess we're going to head back to base right now, and then we'll do all the things. Let's go ahead and do this. I don't want to leave anything behind if we can help it. Oh, dude, there's a bunch of stuff over here. Oh, no. Wait. Leather? I can't I can't carry leather? Hold on. Let's just go ahead and maybe eat another one of these guys. Mechanical parts. Dude, let's pick up that leather. Mechanical parts we can't do either? What the crap, man? I sort of swore. Oh, let's just uh, scrap that guy like that. All right. Feels good, team. All right. So we're heading back to base, and then we're going to come back over here and do this last building. Ladies and gentlemen... Oh, yeah. All the stuff and things down here, man. There's gun safes. All sorts of freaking crazy stuff. Uh, let's grab that guy right there. I think this just goes outside. Maybe we can get a little bit of hot bone action. Nitrate and some flesh out of there. Uh, we got our pick here now. So that should help us to get through this. 3,000! You're kidding me, man. 2,500. Uh, is there an easier... Oh, wait a second here. Ah! <laughs> Secret stuff and things. All right, let's get this guy going. I wonder if there's going to be any bad hombres back inside of here. Hold on. Dude, secret stuff and things. Oh, there, there they are. They're inside of there. Uh, the call is coming from inside your pants. You want some of this action? How about one of those? How about one of those? Oh, we're out of stamina. Kiting. 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 He's done it. All right. So, these guys, let's see what we got inside of here, man. Ooh, AK-47, baby! And Metal Chain Mod. 10% chance to knock down opponents can be installed in clubs in an iron sledge. We're actually going to use that for some stuff and things here in the future. What do you got for me over here, baby? Ooh, Stun Baton, remember that? For the previous uh, playthrough, Zerp Zerp. All right, and then that guy locked, locked, locked. Dude, these are all locked. Dude, I don't have that many. I have seven lock picks. I don't think we're going to be able to get through too much of this with seven lock picks. I'm wondering if I can make more. I've never actually had to make lock picks. Dude, crap, that sucks. Six lock picks left. I bet these guys are going to be really tough, man. I wonder if there's a lock picking skill. I don't have any skills left. I just put all of my skills into, uh, all my levels into Lucky Looter. 
Dude, this is going to be bad, man. Oh, no! A lot of times... You no! The last few seconds are really, really tough. Come on, man. Oh, man. Is this all my lockpicks? Oh! One left. There's no way this is going to work. He's done it! Unbelievable and amazing! Stun baton level two. Level four iron spear three hunting rifle. Power tool large tank mod. That is actually really good. And the iron knuckles, they're worth 76. We repair those. I bet they're worth even more. Let me see here. If I go ahead and take and repair this guy, what's it going to be worth? 240 duke bucks, baby. That's what I'm talking about. All right. We need lock picks for days. Can we make them? Lock... Uh, really? Oh, wait, there they are, right there. So, oh, you need lock picking and the great heist completion? You need, oh, either one, I think it is. So, lock picking is the skill that we'd have to take. We have zero skill points available. Lock picking's right there. Slim Jim. Uh, someday going to be somebody. You can craft lock picks. Pick uh, and picks for ten percent less. So, all right. So, if we get on point, we're gonna we're gonna squirt in the lock picks. We've got to come back to this spot. I'm gonna go ahead down inside of here, and we're gonna make a mark, save a waypoint, and we're gonna call it, dude. There needs to be like a money sign here or something like that. Maybe we'll just make a a quick waypoint because we got to open four more safes down inside of here, and we just have not found the lock picks in order to do that. All right. So those guys are G's. This whole area I think is clear. Man, I can't believe. We're going to need to make lockpicks. I've never had to do that uh, in any of the places so far. Uh, I've always found, like, plenty of them everywhere we've looked. Dude, is that a thing? Ooh, what? Secret, secret. A little bit of hot bullet action. I guess it's not too much of a secret, right? We could have just walked right inside of here. All right, let's pop back up over this area. Let's just explore the end of this together here and see what we can see. Some mineral water. Oh, hey, buddy. Dose. Oh, right up his area. Dude, the most vulnerable spot in the A noose. And super lucky two loot bags. Oh, yeah. You know what would be great, though? If we can get some lock picks. <laughs> uh, 289 of those bad hombres. That's good. And, oh, dude, that hammer is better for upgrading than what we've got right now. Just lead outside. And then that. Yeah, we'll go explore that here in a little bit. Desk. Da, da, da. Grab this guy. A little bit more. Oh, wait, what? Dude, can we scrap that guy? We can. We'll get clay out of it. Pipe and some ammo. Uh, Learn that guy. Scrap that guy. And... Oh, a cigar! Dude, what is that? Strength. Stat bartering. I think this is good for if you are trying to um, sell stuff and things. I think that's what that's for. I don't know exactly. And do we have any glue? Oh, we do. Uh, crap. I didn't make a spot for myself just then, did I? Oh, I found one lockpick. Dude, so can we use these guys? We can read. We'll just accept them. And then we'll have to go ahead and turn them off later. No big whoop. Dude, where did they go? All right. Two inventory slots. Nailed it. Ace to camp. Stop. All right. Feels good, team. Last level. I think there's a trash can right there we missed, but I just want to pop up here and see what we can see. All right, that guy's down. There's actually not much here. Outside. Oh, something inside of there, I bet. I wonder if we can see it through here. There it is. Uh, T-shirt, shorts, and some ammo. And then on the very tippity top, let's pop up here and see if there's anything of value. Oh, yeah, there is. Right there. Ah, got it. Uh, padded boots. Meh. All right, we'll take them. Whatever. It's a thing. So I think that's pretty much it for this POI. We've got all the stuff and things. Let's go ahead and grab our frames. I see you, Nest. I don't care. Yeah, so that's all the stuff and things. We made a decent haul here. We did not find any of the tools that we really need. Uh, and tools are, uh, the best way that we're going to get those is to go to the tool deal. There's like a tool factory. Uh, I can't remember what it's called. Uh, dude, I need another level really, really bad. Um, all right, so for now, we're going to head back to base. Random zombie bag. I didn't even do any of this. Dude, five forged iron. Nailed it. It's cubes. Oh, we'll take that guy. So what I'm doing here is coming over to the Trader Joel's. Uh, I got the lockpick skill, but we need workbench in order to do any lockpick stuff and things. And I don't have a workbench yet. What's got Pomey? What do you have for stuff and things? Let's talk about selling some stuff there. 160 for the blueberry pie recipe we've already got. Uh, 306 bucks. 428 Duke bucks. And that guy right there. 
Fam, like so. 2,200 Duke bucks. Uh, thank you, guys. You're sir. welcome, homie. Do you got anything amazing? Lockpicks. 200? No way, man. I'm not spending 200 bucks on that deal. Secret stuff and things. Padded boots. Uh, four by four truck. Junk turrets. 1,900 bucks for a tier two. And a marksman rifle. Dude, tier one's only $800. Yeah, I think we're going to be good. There's bicycle handlebar schematic inside of there, too. Do you got any ammo? Uh, 762? Dude, he's got nails. Dude, no 762. He's got uh, armor piercing. That's Thanks about it. Way. All right. So is there a workbench here that we can use? You see, we can't actually use the workbench. Crap, man. I thought we could use the one that's in here. Hmm. I don't think we found any more. So we can make lock picks, but we got to use, uh, what is it? Mechanical parts and forged iron, but we're going to need a workbench in order to make that happen. The workbench right here, forged iron, mechanical parts, a wrench, a claw hammer, and wood. <gasps> Do I have the stuff and things we need to make that? All right, so we have our workbench, but here's the deal, guys. Remember this? Yeah, we never really talked about it, right? Let's pop down over inside of here and go down in. This guy right here, we got to take it out. So, uh, we did find a level four spear, by the way, along the way. And then when I went back to my base, because I'm an amazing hoarder, I had all the things that we needed in order to make the workbench. So we're GTG on that. Uh, there's that guy right there. Now, we also have a couple of mods here that we can do stuff and things with. We can modify this guy with the Gravedigger mod. We just got to remember to pull that out before we do anything with it. And then we got the Iron Pickaxe right here we can modify with this Bunker Buster. That's going to give us more damage versus stone. Now, we're not going to use that actually right now. But we did get something else that's amazing. Unbelievable and amazing. This guy right here, modify. Oh, yeah. Helmet light mod, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Let me see here. Boink! Yeah, let there be light. So at night, we'll always have light. Feels good. So that's all GTG. Now, uh, these guys are 2,500, so that's a total of 5,000 to get through that. But this door is uh, 7,000. Now, we're going to have to break this anyway. So I figured we would just go ahead and do it right now. So we're going to go ahead and drink some goldenrod tea. We're going to take these guys and start doing some hard hits against this door with all these guys that we have, with these sledges that we've got. Now, the sledges do... What is that? Maybe a hundred and something? Uh, 6576. That's a little bit more. Let's try this guy right here. It's about 50 a hit. That might actually be faster. We don't run out of stamina even nearly as quickly. Yeah, that's that's the way to go right here. We're just going to use this guy. We'll probably end up having to use a repair kit to get through here, but this is the way to break into this bunker. And we're in. Oh, my God. Let's clean up the floor. Dude, what an amazing bunkery area we've discovered. Look at this place, man. Oh, my God. A little living room. Dude, bookshelves. What? Teach me all your knowledge. All the stuff and things. Search these guys. Oh, my God. Duckbill mod schematic. Reading the schematic will teach you how to craft. Yeah, I know what that, that it will. All the bookcases, baby. Uh, first aid kit. Nice. Anvil. Nice. Dude, all of the things. Feels good, team. What do we got over here? What are you? What? A chair? What an amazing chair. What an amazing chair we've discovered, ladies and gentlemen. All right. So first things first, let's claim this bad ombre. This is where we're going to be calling our home. Bam. Set up the land claim block right over there like that. What do you got for me over in here? Nothing. What? Get out of here, then. You're stupid and dumb. No one likes you. All right, that guy right there. Looks like another box back behind this area. Some friggin' ammo. Feels good, team. We got uh, this guy right here. Check this out. Uh, yeah. Eh, scrap that guy, like so. Lockers to search. Uh, gothic pants? Dude, they're way better than the pants we have right now. Feels good, team. Hold on a second. Let's put on our gothic pants. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Scrap those guys. All right. Uh, it doesn't look like there's any zombies down here. It doesn't sound like there are any zombies down here right now. I'm wondering if there's going to be more doors we have to break down here. Little cabinet. Uh, College jacket. Skull cap. Lucky goggles. You know what? I already found some of those guys. I didn't tell you about it. We got these lucky goggles right there. Plus six buried treasure radius minus one. These are a little bit less uh, good, but we'll keep them just in case. Uh, another locked door here. We're going through. We're in. Fancy toilets. Nice for fancy pooping. Little extra wrench. Always good to have in case you got to craft a workbench. 
Uh, ooh, glass shower. Is there anything up above? Sometimes you gotta look above you, man. And see what's going on there. All right, this guy's locked too. Shouldn't take too long for me to bust through this guy. All right, some beds we can wrench for some parts. Uh, nerdy glasses. This gives us higher intellect, uh, lower crafting time, and higher XP gain. Dude, which one would be better, do you think? Loot bonus or XP stuff and things? I feel like the loot bonus is where it's at. We need to have the best loot bonus stuff and things we could possibly have. Uh, garbage on the floor. We got to clean this place up, man. This is where we're going to call our home. That guy. Another amazing chair? <laughs> Locked. All right, what do we got? All right, a little cooking pot action. Nice, feels good team. Search some of these guys. Shirts, oil. Uh, another wrench. Like I said, always good for crafting. Where is that? There we go. All right, just your general stuff and things. Nothing super impressive. Uh, this goes back around to the beginning, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so then over here, take this guy out. And then behind, what? No way, another 7,000? We're in. All right. Ooh, dude, gun stuff and things are going on. This looks like a good area right here. We got a locked gun deal. What is this? Munition stuff and things? This takes a long time to open. And... He's done it. Uh, military vest. Ooh, I don't know if that's better. We have two junk turrets. Nice, man. All right, so junk turrets are amazing. Uh, we'll be getting into those here in a second. This guy's unlocked, it looks like. Oh, that's just a regular storage deal. All right, let's pop these guys open. We're going to do the gun uh, the gun deal last. Ooh, dude, a fancy toilet. Perfect. Why would there be a toilet in a box? I mean, I guess you need a backup toilet. You got to put it in a box, right? That makes perfect sense. They just got, like, furniture in here. <laughs> this doesn't make any sense at all. All right, let's grab this guy. Nothing. Uh, ooh, gyrocopter accessory schematics. Nice. Machete schematic and some iron leg armor, which I don't think we have yet. Let's pop inside of here real quick. We have gothic pants. Uh, Squirt that guy under there, like so. And then let's take a look. We have the BDU top, which we found. Yeah, that's infinitely better than the military vest. Oh, wait, light armor rating. Wait, this is cold resistance. Hold on a second here. Oh, that doesn't even go there. That goes there. Dude, our guy looks amazing. Oh, we're a post-apocalyptic murdering machine. All right, that guy and this guy. And then I have another surprise for you. A little teeny surprise, but a surprise nonetheless. All right. A uh, chainsaw, ladies and gentle peeps. Oh my God, that is huge, mungus, dude. The friggin' chainsaw, and we have the uh, gas mod for it. Too. No, no, don't get distracted. Slip. All right, so that gun safe is locked, right? Yeah, not anymore, ladies and gentlemen. Boom, thirty lock picks, thirty-one total. So we can unlock the locks here, and then go back to the point of interest over there and do those guys as well. And now we have the extra lock pick skill, so that should help us to pick locks. I'm assuming it's gonna be infinitely easier now one pick easy all the way down right right oh really you're kidding me oh my god he's done it oh another level four iron spear backup spear stun baton no big deal there a little bit of ammo and another ak feels good team dude that is amazing i wonder what's in those other chests in that point of interest that we left behind Dudes, this one safe is proving to be quite a hassle. I mean, I can't even believe it. Dude, what the crap? What? All right, let's like move away. What's the lucky way to do this? Okay, how about over here? Maybe we got to get like a better angle. What the? I can't even believe it, dude. Every other one we've already done. This one's taking almost 15 picks. What the crap? Dude, open. I have lockpick skill. Why do you hate me, game? Yes! Oh my god! Alright guys, let's check this out, man. What do we got going on here? Level 3 junk turret. Feels good, team. Uh, some parts, another AK. Another another level 3 junk turret. Uh, machete parts. Uh, sawed-off shotgun parts. A little bit of ammo. This thing better have, like, the mother load. What? Oh, that 
for one sledge? You're kidding me. Well, we got all the stuff and things, ladies and gentlemen. What an unbelievable haul we've got going on here. What a great day, man. We found the chainsaw, probably the most valuable thing we found. These level three junk turrets are big time, though. That's going to be really good. And we made 2,000 Duke bucks and made a lot more progress in the game. That's going to be it for today, man. Thank you guys so much for coming to hang out with me. Make sure if you like the video, please don't forget. Show your support. Smash the thumbs up button. Big shouts to everybody who supports us on Patreon. You guys help to make stuff and things happen in these freaking trying times on YouTube. And come check us out at twitch.tv slash slipgator. Click the link in the down there. Hit the follow button. We're there Monday through Friday, 5 to 9. And we would love to have you come over if you are a normal human with a fully sized uh, and completely formed brain. Thank you so much for watching. And may the stuff and things be with you.